اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, I'm going to look into how to perform moderation analysis with multiple variables using SPSS, but without the use of his process macro. Now let's assume I've got this model whereby I've got an IV, collaborative culture, and the DV, organizational performance, with these three moderators. Now all these variables are continuous. Now what are the steps that one should take in order to assess the moderating role of these three continuous variables on the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance. Step 1. We need to take the mean value of independent and moderating variable. Now in this case, my independent variable is collaborative culture and my moderating variables are role ambiguity, role conflict and perceived organizational support. So the step 1. Take mean of your independent and moderating variables. Now I already have created composite variables that you can easily do by taking the mean of the indicators. Let's say collaborative culture. So you take the mean of these six items and you can do this by going to transform compute variable. Now the first thing let's what is the mean descriptive statistics. So culture organizational performance is not required because that's your dependent variable role ambiguity role conflict perceived organizational support so i need the mean values for my independent and moderating variables don't need to save press ok and here are the mean values so this step one you have taken the mean values now let me copy this copy and to make it easier, I'm going to paste it into the Excel sheet. Now here are the mean values. Step two, mean center the independent and moderating variables. Now what are my independent moderating variables? Here they are. So how do we mean center? It's very simple. Let's go to transform, compute variable. And let's say I want to center the culture. So I am going to create a new target variable and then your culture variable minus the mean value where is your mean value for culture here it is let's copy it and you paste it here and just press ok now similarly I'm going to quickly do it for the rest of them so I've done it for culture now I'm going to do it for role ambiguity And where is your role ambiguity? Here it is. So it's RA. I'm just going to quickly name it RA. And then the mean value. Press OK. Similarly, the next one. Role conflict. Let's name it again. Role conflict. What's the mean value? The mean value is this. Okay, and now the final one, perceived organizational support. That's the variable in the list, POS. Have a look here, look at this. POS. And what's the mean value? Here is the mean value for POS. Just copy it. Paste it here. Now all your independent and your moderating variables are mean centered. Where they are now here they are mean centered now once that is done the next step is you create an interaction term that is the interaction of collaborative culture with role ambiguity interaction of collaborative culture with role conflict interaction of collaborative culture with perceived organizational support so you will have three interaction terms how to do this let's do it transform compute variable let's name it interaction underscore collaborative culture X role ambiguity. So how do you do this? It is culture into role ambiguity. Culture into role ambiguity. 
press ok now let's do the next one transform compute variable culture into role conflict and it was named as this the centered variable role conflict all correct press ok and finally the third one collaborative culture and pos what was the centered variable for pos c underscore pos pos now okay now the three interaction terms are also ready here they are now we are ready to run our moderation analysis how to do this let's go to analyze regression linear you are not going to use his process macro you are going to use linear and the dependent variable is op and the independent variables so you are going to add your independent variable which was culture and you are going to add your moderating variables let's say rarc and finally pos and then the interaction term and we are going to add the interaction term do not need to do anything else just simply press ok and if you look here here it is now significance only this the role ambiguity moderates the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance because the p-value is less than 0 0.05 all other moderating variables are insignificant so your role conflict and your perceived organizational support does not moderate the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance it's only role ambiguity that moderates the relationship this these two are insignificant why are they insignificant because your p-value is greater than 0 0.05 and this p-value here is less than 0 0.05 your t-value is greater than 1.96 so role ambiguity does moderate the relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance now let me compare the results with his process macro but in his process macro we cannot have three moderators so let me add two and let me delete this first let's analyze regression linear let me remove pos here pos here now cc collaborative culture is your independent variable dependent variable is organizational performance and these are the two interaction terms just press ok and here are your results now role ambiguity does moderate the relationship now let's compare these results with his process macro so regression his process macro and ra i'm going to add the other moderator rc and i'm going to let his process macro center my variables yes continue now since we've got two moderators we need model number two press ok and let's see how it goes now have a look here interaction one which is culture into role ambiguity minus 0 0.1148 2 2.855 now if you look here minus 0 0.115 2.856 now since these are three decimal points and if you convert these scores into three decimal points you are going to have the same score look at this the interaction to culture into rc 0 0.0381 have a look here 0 0.038 and t value 1.108 and let's see if the t value is 1.108 so the results are similar but the advantage of using SPSS is that you can have any number of moderators in your analysis. Again, in order to assess whether the moderating variables were significant, you need to look at these interaction terms. Now you can similarly, you can go on and draw your graph. Let's say here. So let's say my independent variable was collaborative culture, moderator role ambiguity, and dependent organizational performance. This was now ra was the significant moderating variable so i'm going to draw a graph for this one let's say independent variable what do you mean by independent variable the impact of culture on organizational performance because culture is my independent variable 0 0.502 0 0.502 what was the moderator that is role ambiguity so the impact of role ambiguity on organizational performance is minus 0 0.184 minus 0 0.184 and the interaction term what interaction term the significant interaction term here minus 0 0.115 minus 
minus 0.115 and if you press enter here it is now look at this your low roll ambiguity is much steeper than high roll ambiguity so at low roll ambiguity there is a more stronger relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance however at high roll ambiguity if you keep on increasing collaborative culture the organizational performance does not increase in a similar manner this means that role ambiguity that is higher role ambiguity dampens the positive relationship between collaborative culture and organizational performance i hope this session would have helped you understand how to manually perform moderation analysis using spss thank you very much